Hey everyone, welcome to Pothology. It's Saturday morning. I hope you're having a good Saturday. I hope uh, your day is going well. So I'm on my way to Amelia's and Calvin Fletcher's. Amelia's is a local bakery shop. Calvin Fletcher's is my favorite coffee shop in Indianapolis. So I'm going there and I'm gonna get some bread, some coffee, and also I might get something else at Amelia's. Um, if they have any butter, I might get that. So they're also a grocery store and I just might get it there. So it just depends. If it's like $8 butter, I'm not buying that. But if it's normal price, like it's normal, then I might get it. So it, it just depends with their products. So, and what else? Well, that's all I know that I'm doing today. Emily is taking a final exam test right now. So that's what she's doing. And that's about all. Later tonight, we're gonna FaceTime with one of our friends. Um, oh, we're getting King Dough tonight. So King Dough Pizza, which that is also my favorite pizza, pl uh, pizza place. I have a lot of favorites. I really don't though. I know my favorites and that, that's what my favorite is. So, and I don't give that lightly. King Dough, in my opinion, is for, to me, the best highest quality pizza you can get in Indy. That's just my opinion. But uh, I'm very excited for it tonight, and so that's what I'm, that's what we're having for dinner. Um, and yesterday, oh, I guess we you know we had steak yesterday, and I have some leftover steak, so I might have that for lunch today. So yeah, I had steak yesterday. I sous vide steak for a long time, and it turned out perfect. And yeah, that's what we did. So okay, I'm on my way to Amelia's and Calvin's, and I'll be right back. So I'm on my way to a coffee shop just driving there it's a very beautiful sunny day today i want to i guess my goals for today i really don't have any i'm just chilling it's just a relaxing saturday i kind of wish i had some cereal but i don't and i never eat cereal i just think cereal sounds fun on saturday mornings hmm have you ever seen talking about cereal have you ever seen the restaurants that only serve cereal they're like us uh, they're like frozen yogurt places but they only do cereal instead of frozen yogurt very interesting so the famous clothing store kith i think does that and also there's a kellogg store in new york city that does that as well you can make any combination of cereal you can whatever have any sort of topping you want sounds good to me i would do that my favorite cereal hmm i think my favorite cereal this is gonna sound probably it's not it's okay i'm just gonna tell you i think i i'm pretty sure my favorite cereal is blueberry morning i really like blueberry morning and it and sometimes i can't find it but i think that that's my favorite as far as sugary cereal, which Blueberry Morning is very sugary, but you know, like your kid's cereal, I don't know what my favorite is. Probably Frosted Flakes or Captain Crunch peanut butter, even though I don't like a lot of peanut butter things, but I, I, don't, I do not mind Captain Crunch peanut butter. I think that tastes good. My only thing with Captain Crunches is it uh, hurts my mouth and it get it just I feel like it shreds up my mouth. So yeah, but I, know, I haven't had cereal in a very long time. So yesterday I tried the Mandalorian Frappuccino that you you build on your own or whatever. It was very good. I liked it. I mean. It's, it's literally just, it tastes just like a mint milkshake, mint chocolate chip milkshake. So in that scenario, it's good. You know, it's, I bet, so I've never really had the McDonald's mint shake for whatever day. It's green. I've never had that, but I imagine it probably tastes pretty similar. But I don't know if the McDonald's ones has a chocolate in it. But man, Starbucks Frappuccinos, 
you know, people get so, you know, people give a lot of hate about them to people that get them, but I think they're amazing, even though I never get them. The only time I will get a Frappuccino is if I have the gold tickets to get it and I'm not feeling like getting a over espressoed crazy drink. So, but if I have the stars to get a free Frappuccino, yeah, I'll get it. I think I think they're fun. And they're just, I mean, it's an expensive drink that's free, so. Okay, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna take you with me. I'll be right back. So I'm leaving Amelia's and I'm on my way to Calvin Fletcher. Here are ham and cheese croissants, Matthew's favorite. Milky Way Matthew loves those ham and cheese croissants. There's some artwork. And here is their menu. I got this winter cascara latte. But this is what their menu is. And this is the coffee they're selling as far as bagged coffee. Hey everyone, so I just got back from Amelia's and uh, Calvin Fletcher's. And so at Calvin Fletcher's, I got this cascara latte with an extra shot of espresso. It's very good. Um, I got it hot this time. So one thing I have noticed with this is that the espresso uh, packs a punch when it's with a hot drink. Maybe that's how it always is, but this espresso is very flavorful and I can feel the buzz versus an iced drink. Um, I, okay, it, as far as flavor and the punch of an espresso, I feel like an ice drink maybe numbs your mouth a little bit and so it's not as flavorful and maybe it's harder to taste flavors when things are super cold, but I'm just making that up. I don't actually know if that's true, but I definitely tell a difference between the espresso and this, not, uh, this hot cascara latte and the iced one. So maybe, and, and also there's so many flavors in the chai tea that's used in this that it probably comes out a lot when it's warmed up and it's warm. So there's just a lot going on. It's a very good drink. I highly recommend it. If you like dirty chais or if you like chai tea with espresso, or if you like both, if you like chai tea and you like espresso, this is that's a great drink to get. Again, from Calvin Fletcher's. I love Calvin Fletcher's. I, I think they're the best. I just think they're the best. Until I find something better, I think Calvin Fletcher's has really good baristas and they're just, it's just good coffee. So the, the drip coffee's good. It's all around great. So, and I like that they're very local. They support local uh, businesses and they're, I think they're partly nonprofit, if not fully nonprofit. So, and then the things I got from Amelia's was this uh, Focchio bread, Focchio. I, I'm saying it wrong. I'm pro, it's like, I have no idea how to say it. F-O-C-C-A-I-O-C-O. -O -O. I probably spelled that wrong, but it's bread with herbs and it's soft. I think it's gonna be amazing. It kind of reminds me of breadsticks, but it's not. It's that Fochio bread, Fochio. I don't know, I don't know. So I think it's gonna be really good. I think I'm gonna use it for steak sandwiches this afternoon. And then I also got Amelia's, uh, I got this gelato from Amelia's. It's homemade by Amelia's. They're a bakery, but they make gelato, I guess, as well. And so I got their vanilla chocolate chip. And um, I got that flavor because most of it was sold out. So they have vanilla, vanilla chocolate chip, and just plain chocolate. Everything else was sold out, but they got brownie flavored one or one with brownie chunks in it, one with cookie dough. They have a peanut butter chocolate one. I think they have other ones and they make flavors. So, but I just got that one. It was the only one that had chunks of stuff in it. So I think it's, I think it's gonna be really good. 
I think I think it's going to be great. I love homemade ice cream. I've made homemade ice cream a few times, and I, I did it when I was a kid. We would uh, make homemade ice cream. That was always fun. But that's probably this is going to be very different because it's like professional and it's gelato. So I'm sure it's going to be great. And then I also got butter. So I just got a small thing of butter. That's what I got. And now I'm going back to the apartment and I'm gonna make some food. So yeah, and enjoy my latte. And and uh, let Emily do her exam. And that's what I'm doing today. So if you're still watching this, comment down below gelato. Gelato, comment gelato. I think that's how I say it, gelato? Yeah, gelato, gelato, comment gelato down below if you're still watching. Later today, I'm going to take you with me to King Do. I hope they're open. Hey everyone, so I'm on my way to go to King Do. I don't think I'm going to record and drive on my way there because it's dark. So it's about 6, uh, 15 right now. Maybe it's later than that, 620, I don't know. So I'm going to go over to King Do and I'll be right back and I'll show you King Do. Hey everyone, so I'm up here waiting on a train to go by. I think you can see me. I think you can see me, uh, the, the brake lights on me. And if you hear that, I don't know if you can hear it, but we're under this bridge. And it's a, it's a, there's a highway up there. I forget what highway it is, but there's the train we're waiting on. I'm waiting on. And um, it's a very, it goes very, it takes a very long time. And so you have to go to King Do. And, okay, you have to go over these train tracks to get to King Do. So at least if you live downtown, like directly downtown. So, and they're, they're downtown. It's just, they're a mile from Mass Ave. So yeah, there's just train tracks right there. I guess you could, I'm sure there's a way to get on the highway to get over to King Do, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, actually. No, either way, you have to go, you actually have to go over the train tracks. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just waiting uh, for the trains to go by for the train. Probably been here five plus minutes. I imagine it's going to be another five to 10 minutes. But at least um, I don't, ha I'm, I'm waiting without the pizza. So I'm, at least I know they have the pizza. King Do has it. They're keeping it warm. And I'm not in my car, you know, with it just getting cold. But honestly, I don't mind cold pizza. I like cold pizza. Depending on where it's from, I like it. It's good. Do you like cold pizza? Let me know down below. It can be good. Granted, I don't ever eat it that often. Well, I guess there's a difference between refrigerated cold pizza. Now, that's never been my forte. But, I mean, maybe it, I, I like uh, room temperature pizza. You know, I guess I don't really mind certain brands that are cold. But I've, I always prefer warmed up pizza. Also, I just want to say, we, Emily and I, had some of that Amelia's Gelato. So I thought this ice cream was chocolate chip because that's what it said on the freezer and that's what it says on top of the thing, the container, but it's chocolate chip cookies. Very unexpected. I love it. So I'm pretty sure that is Amelia's regular chocolate chips from their bakery. This, this gelato is so good. If you're ever in Indy and you want gelato, just go there. It's so good. Or you want ice cream. That's all. Okay, bye. Oh, that was so good. That cookie, uh, chocolate chip cookie, I thought it was just chocolate chips. I didn't think it was going to be, you know, legit chocolate chip cookies. That was so good. It was, uh, they used some of their, I, I would imagine it's some of their cookies that they make in the bakery and they put it in the gelato. So good. It was, it's probably up there with some of the best. It's, it's probably the best. I can, I can probably, I can say this. It's the best gourmet gelato I've ever had. It's just that good. It's just so good. So, and you would, I would never think to go to get gelato there. I don't know. They're a bakery. 
So, but I guess they're not just a bakery. They're a grocery store. They're a, a place you can get really good sandwiches. So, yeah. They're, they're a, a lot of things, and they're great. Look at this train. It's literally going like 10 miles an hour. So long. I've been watching this uh, YouTuber who hops on trains. I think he's a professional train hop person, whatever it's called. And he travels the United States on trains. Oh, it ended. Great. There's the last one. I don't even know if you can see it. But on YouTube, I've been watching this guy. He's very interesting. Very interesting character. I don't remember his name, but... I mean, he's just uh, hopping around, going to city to city. So, okay, I'm gonna go, I'll be right back. So I'm out here in one of the parking lots near King Do. Their parking lot is full right now, but here's King Do in front of me. The parking lot I'm in is this garden place. I guess they do gardening and sell stuff to do home gardening, but there's King Do, they got a fire going. I don't know if you can eat inside. I don't think you can but it's pretty cool. I like the lights. I think it's just a cool place. Spots Garden Service. But here it is, my favorite pizza place in Indy. I'm going to go inside so I am back from King Do. They were very fast. It was just all around great service. And I got my pizza. Um, now I'm going to go upstairs and Emily and I are going to eat the pizza. Um, as I said, I've done nothing today. Nothing at all almost. I went to, you know, Amelia's, as you saw, Calvin Fletcher's. I went to King Do and I just chilled. That's all. Got some stuff for class figured out and now I'm... Just gonna go back up and chill again. So I think tomorrow I'll probably go to the store or go some places for the week ahead. And that's all, but here, I'm gonna show you the pizza before I leave. And here it is. Sorry if I hit the microphone and it's super loud. Okay, here, I haven't opened this. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's a margarita pizza from King Do. It looks like a, a perfect pizza. It looks great to me. I like it. It's going to be great. So ah, that's the pizza we got. Kingdo also has, they started selling grandma pizzas, which are uh, sheet pizzas that are kind of Brooklyn style, not New York style. I don't know if that's Brooklyn style. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's like Sicilian style, uh, not deep dish, but kind of, it's like a, a square pizza. Oh, I'm explaining this really poorly. It's a sheet pizza with your normal pizza toppings, but it's a little bit thicker crust. At least that's my understanding. I've never had one. So I bet that's going to be really good. I guess it would be more like a Detroit style pizza, but thinner, but, but baked in a sheet pan, which Detroit is too. Maybe that's what, I don't know. Okay. That's all. Well, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Thank you to everyone who's been watching and commenting. Thank you so much for being so nice to me and Emily. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow. I don't know if Emily was in this vlog. I don't think she was. She's been very busy all day. So, but tomorrow, Emily and I, you'll see us both and you'll see us on Tuesday Tea Talks. And yeah, so if no one's told you this today, you are loved and this world is a better place because you are here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.